Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to learn how the charging circuits work in iPhone. So welcome to my channel. Remember guys, my name is Edgar and I'm a technician of micro soldering with more than 10 years of experience. In this video I'm going to try to do my best to explain you uh, how to fix any iPhone with the charging problems, okay? Remember when you start fixing iPhone, you have three different uh, components, not, not the components, three different version, okay? The first version is when the iPhones had the TriStar or TriStar. This iPhone is the iPhone 6, 6S, 7, and 7 Plus, right? And then we had the new USB circuits, the ones we call Hydra, okay? This one, we have an iPhone uh x iphone 8 x xs 11 and 11 pro max okay and 11 pro and then we have the three version the one uh, we have for iphone 12 okay this one we know this component for kraken 2 okay so kraken 2 we have iphone 12 series and iphone 13 series okay so it's a three different series of usb ic okay i'm going to show you how you can diagnostic any iphone the ones i told you already with only four steps okay so i'm going to teach you how to do it okay so the first thing you have to know is when you connect a cable with five voltage from your charger you had the phone had to validate this uh, cable and the, this cable, the phone had to say, okay, this cable meets the requirements to charge and then this uh, cable can start charging your phone, okay? This is one thing. Another thing is, remember, when you connect any cable to your iPhone, the iPhone is now taking all the voltage to be on from the cable, not from the battery, okay? So the battery is just charging and the cable is keeping the iPhone on, okay? So this is two things that you had to know. The first one, when you connect the cable, this cable had to validate from uh, the USB uh, circuits. And then when you connect any cable, the cable is keeping the voltage from uh, to our uh, phone. And the battery is just charging, okay? This is two things that you have to know, okay? I'm going to start teaching you how to check four steps when you have an iPhone, the first series, the iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, and iPhone 7 with no charging, okay? So the first step is we have to bring this five voltage to the USB circuits. Remember, in charging uh, process, we have around like two or three different components. We have one that we are going to call this one the USB IC. This one can be the uh, Trister, the Trister. This one can be the Hydra. And this one can be the uh, Kraken, okay? Kraken and Kraken 2. Kraken 2, okay? This is the same thing, USB IC. And then we have a um, uh, charging or charger IC and this one we know this component for degrees and jack something like that I, I can't pronounce uh, that the another name and then we have another one that we are going to call the wireless char charger IC this one we only have this component from the iPhone 8 to the new ones right okay three different components these three different components each component had to do something, right? The USB IC is the one the this one is going to validate the cable. And the charging IC is the one who's going to charge the battery. And then we have the wireless charging. This one is the one who's going to charge uh, the phone when we use a uh, charger wires, right? Okay, three different components with uh, three different process on the charge. So the first step, the number one step that we had to check when we have an iPhone with no charging, the first step, okay, and sorry for my English, I'm doing my best, is bring, bring the five voltage to USB IC, 
Okay, I'm going to show you iPhone 6, 6S, 7 series, the ones had Trister, and then I'm going to show you iPhone 8, iPhone X, XS, all the models, okay? So the first thing is, you have to have one board. I don't have the board here to do the, the test, okay? And you have to have the charger flex, okay? I always like to have the charger, only the charger to do all this testing, okay? So I connect the charger and I connect my cable to the charger with the 5 voltage, okay? So the first thing that you have to check is this. Remember, you have to know which one is the connector for uh, the charging port, okay? And you're going to open the schematics, okay? So I'm using the JCID. I'm going to uh, leave the links uh, where you can buy this tool, okay? And I have the chart. This is iPhone 7. iPhone 7, iPhone 6, iPhone 6s is the same thing, okay? For example, I'm going to start with iPhone 6, okay? I don't know if you still fix iPhone 6. We don't fix anymore. So the charging port from the iPhone 6 is this one, okay? This one right here. And you always had to search for this line. PP. 5v0 USB, okay? If we touch this line and you connect your cable, you had to have 5 voltage, okay? You had to have 5 voltage right here. So we have a test point right here. So when the cable connector, you when the cable connected to your phone, you had to have you had to have 5 voltage right there. Okay? This is the first step because with this step, you're going to know if the cable is good or if you have uh, the charging port uh, cable bad, okay? Or sometimes you can also use diode mode. So in this one, with diode mode, you have to have around 350 to 450 in diode mode, okay? So first thing, diode mode, 5 voltage right there, okay? And then if... Uh, we come to the B part of the cable, okay, of the board, sorry. You can see this one is bring the 5 voltage to these circuits. But this circuit is the charging circuits. These circuits don't start charging because the cable had to validate first, okay? So this 5 voltage is just waiting there for one signal, okay? The third step. Right now is the first step. And now we have a transistor right here. And the transistor, we had to uh, search for this line, PP3 star pin. And this line, if you can see right now, if you know this component, this is the USB IC. So this one is the USB IC. So, and then you had to uh, test with your multimeter and voltage right here. Five voltage okay so if i bring my ipad right here so i have my cable with five voltage okay this is my cable this cable is connected to the um the fpc and then this one is bringing is bring this five voltage from this cat to the usb ic okay this is the first step you had to have 5 voltage there, no 4.5, 4 voltage, 3.7, no, 5 voltage, okay? This is the first step in iPhone 6, 6S, and iPhone uh, 7. You always had to search for this line and the 3 star, okay? The one, the name of this line is PP 3 star pin, okay? This is the first line that you had to check. And this capacitor, you can check the 5 voltage there. Now, we're going to see the Hydra. Hydra models. Okay. What happened with the, the, the phones that don't come anymore with the Hydra, okay? So, we had to bring, again, the 5 voltage to the USB circuits, okay? But in these uh, models, uh, we have a different... Uh, structure okay so i'm going to come here and i'm going to open iphone 8 okay iphone 8 5 voltage okay so the first thing always i have my flex my board i connect my flex to the board and then i connect my cable and i start 
uh, testing with my multimeter, okay? So this is the connector of iPhone 8, and I know this line, PPVBus 1E75, okay? This is the same line of the one we know in iPhone 7 for PP5V0, it's the same line, okay? So when you connect the cable, you can just try to uh, test with your multimeter right here. You have to have five voltage there. But if we see the B board, okay, if we come back to the another side of the board, you always have to check this five voltage right here, okay, right here. So in iPhones, the ones come with the Hydra, we have a different structure, okay? Remember an iPhone with uh, with the three star, we have this one, okay? We have the five voltage right here from the cable. This five voltage come from the um, charger IC. And then the same five voltage come from, uh, from come to a transistor. And then this transistor bring the five voltage to the USB IC. So we have a capacitor right here that in this capacitor we have to have five voltage the same five voltage from the cable what happened with the models with hydra so we have these five voltage that come from the cable to the charger ic and you have a capacitor right here there so you have to have five voltage right here and is this capacitor okay this is iphone 8 i'm going to open iphone x okay iphone x i'm going to click okay right here and this is an iPhone X, okay? An iPhone X, this is the charger uh, FPC. This is the name of the line. And if you see, you connect your cable and this one is going to bring the five voltage right here to the charger IC. The same thing, you have to have five voltage right there. I'm going to open iPhone XS. It's the same thing, okay? XS, this is the cable, the FPC, for the charger this is the line and we have five voltage for two the ones come from the cable to the charger IC I'm going to open iPhone 11 okay iPhone 11 this is the charger connector I have the same line right here and if you see this is the charger IC and you have to have five voltage there okay it's the same thing the same thing I'm going to open iPhone 12 Pro iPhone 12 Pro, this is the charger connector. We have the same line right here. And this five voltage come from the cable and bring the five voltage to the charger IC. See, the same thing. Now I'm going to bring the iPhone 13 Pro, okay? And we had to search for the charger, right? charger connector. This is the charger connector, see? We have the same line. And this line bring the five voltage to the charger IC. So we always going to have five voltage, the ones come from the cable, and we have to check a capacitor before the line, before the charger IC, right? So we have five voltage there. And every model starting from the iPhone 8 to iPhone 13 Pro Max is the same thing. This is your first step. You have to check for your five voltage, okay? But remember, the charger IC, this is not the USB IC. The charger IC, this component don't know if this cable is good or if this cable meet the requirement to charge. So this five voltage had to, the charger IC had to get this five voltage and send it to the USB IC just to check if the cable is good, okay? so. In models, the ones come from the Hydra and Kraken, we have another step, okay? Because if you see the uh, the graphic from the, the models, the ones come from the Twister, we directly have the five voltage right here, right? We have the five voltage on the USB IC. But in the models, the ones come with the Hydra or Kraken, we still don't have the five voltage in the we don't have the five voltage on the USB IC. So how we are going to send this five voltage from the charger IC to the USB IC to validate the cable, okay? So 
just check right here, okay? And don't forget to leave your comment. I appreciate your comments because this is motivate me and my team to upload more videos. Okay, you guys are awesome. <laughs> okay, my amigos. Okay, now remember we have my English is so bad. I'm going. This is iPhone 8. Okay, iPhone 8. This is the Hydra. No. I, I don't, I'm not looking for the Hydra. I'm looking for the Charger IC. This is the Charger IC. This is the schematics for Tigris 2, okay? This is the Tigris, the charging IC. And remember, we, in the iPhone 8, we start uh, having two methods of charging your phone, wireless and USB IC. So the first thing that you have to do when you have an iPhone 8 and not the ones don't charge is always check if the wireless charging works right why because the wireless charging don't have to validate anything the wireless charging if you have your wireless charging works but not with the usb is because the usb don't have the validate to charge so i'm going to give you one more tip and the end of this video okay right now i'm just showing the process how the phone works with the cable okay so when you connect remember when you connect your battery we have the when you when you connect the flex cable and connect your um, usb I, the usb cable the lighting cable we have this line pp vvas 1 e75 right this one right here okay this one okay these lines come right here. The first step, remember, you are going to have right here five voltage. But this component is a little bit dumb, so he doesn't know if this cable is good or is bad. So this circuit is going to send this five voltage to the USB IC. Okay, so inside to this phone, we have inside to this component we have another line okay another line that uh, we can say have connected inside to this component the same line okay so when you have the five voltage right here the ones come from your cable this line is connected to this line okay this line the name of this line is pp var usb rbp tigress are okay and apple give us a gift right here with one resistor with 10 ohms this is a complete gift for us okay because sometimes with the if uh, the cable is really bad we are going to damage this resistor a lot and this resistor is in the iphone 8 iphone x and then in the iphone xs XR, XS Max, 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, and 12 Series, they remove this resistor. But in iPhone 13 and iPhone 14, they put it back. Apple just put back this resistor with the same value, 10 ohms. So I'm fixing a lot of iPhone 13 and iPhone 14 that is just the resistor, okay? So I'm going to give you what you had to check there okay so remember we have right here the charger i see and the charger i see have the five voltage the one come from our cable okay so we have five voltage right here this line is connected inside to another line okay this line we have a resistor here and the another uh, side we have the USB IC okay so when you have an iPhone 8 iPhone X iPhone 12 no iPhone 13 series and iPhone 14 series you are going to have the resistor okay a resistor with a 10 amps okay so the first thing you have to do is test this resistor with ohms 10 ohms okay I'm going to 
give I'm going to give you a free PDF with all the RBP resistor because remember an iPhone 13 and iPhone 14 we don't have a schematics so I'm going to leave the uh, the links you can download and check all these resistor okay so and the resistor the first thing number one numero uno you have to check 10 ohms in the resistor okay so you are going to click this resistor you are going to bring your multimeter and you are going to check this resistor right there 10 ohms ds ohms okay ds ohms right there sometimes we have 10 or 100 kilo ohms so when you have 100 kilo ohms you have a bad resistor okay this is the first thing and then the numero dos Número 2, you had to check 5 voltage in each pad of the resistor. So you are going to put your multimeter in uh, voltage and you are going to check 5 voltage right here and 5 voltage right here. This is the another thing you had to check because remember, we had to bring these five voltage, the ones come from our cable to the USB IC. We need right here five voltage, my friends. I'm going to show you an iPhone 8, okay? If we see this line, these lines come from the charger IC. See, charger IC send this five voltage, so we had to have five voltage right there. And then if we click the another side of the resistor, we have to have 5 voltage right there because this 5 voltage does the ones come to the USB IC. These ones come, okay, from the charger past a resistor and then bring this 5 voltage to the USB IC, okay? You understand? Todo bien? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you iPhone X, okay? iPhone X, we have the Charger I see right there and see we still have the resistor. So we have remember this line PPV bus 1 L75 RBP. Okay, so we had to have 5 voltage here, 5 voltage here. Sometimes, sometimes I have a short right here. I have a short circuit in this circuit in this uh, resistor. So I always remove the resistor, okay? I just remove the resistor and check where is the short. If it's this side or if it's this side, okay? Just to know if the Hydra is bad or if it's the charger IC. Okay, iPhone X. iPhone XS, they remove this resistor. So if you can see this one, okay? Bevas 1, and then we have this line right here. PP var. USB, RBP, so check this out, see, we don't have any resistor, we just have the uh, charger IC and the USB IC connected directly, okay, we don't have any more the resistor, iPhone 11, remember the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max has a different thing because they have all the components for charger and the flex cable, the flex cables come from a little uh, board, so there is all the components. I'm not going to explain that in this video, okay? iPhone 11, if we check the charger IC, the Tigris, okay? So we have the five voltage, the ones come from the cable right here, okay? And these one are connected to uh, this line, okay? This one. And the same thing, check this, okay? So we have the we have the charger IC and now we just have the USB IC. So we had to check. When we don't have the resistor, we just had to check the five voltage from uh, maybe this capacitor right here. I just, this is my step by step, right? The first thing I check the five voltage and then I check the same five voltage, but the ones come at from to the USB IC because it's not the same as that we can we don't it's not the same that these five voltage the ones come first to the charger IC and then we have another five voltage uh, let me see where 
and then we have another five voltage right here okay so i'm going to make another draw right here okay i have five voltage right here these ones come from to the charger i see and we already checked in the first step five voltage here and then we have another line rbp the ones bring this five voltage to the usb i see so now we have to check this five voltage right here so it's two different five voltage because sometimes you can have this five voltage right here but you can't have this five voltage right here because your charger ic is going to be bad or sometimes the resistor the ones uh, we have right here can be bad so that's why you don't have the five voltage uh to the usb ic okay i'm going to show you iphone 12 okay iphone 12 five voltage this is the first five voltage this one come to the charger ic and if we see the charging ic we are going to have this line vp var usb rbp the name of this pad is a3 okay so i'm going to click it and you are going to see the this five voltage come from the charger IC to the USB IC. So you have to check five voltage before the five voltage go inside to the USB IC. Okay, remember this. Okay, so now iPhone 13. iPhone 13, I'm going to open iPhone 13 Pro. It's the same thing on iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro Max. It's the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to check the 5 voltage from the cable. This is the 5 voltage from the cable, okay? And we have the 5 voltage here, right? This is the first 5 voltage. And then 5 voltage, 5 voltage, 5 voltage everywhere. And then remember the A3, okay? So I'm just going to search. Well, because we don't have a schematics, so I'm going to do this, see? I'm going to click. This is the, yeah, this is the lighting controller and the five voltage con and this line g6 okay i'm going to open this and i'm going to bring right here this is the uh the hydra of i hydra or kraken is the same thing and remember g6 okay g6 dg right this one we don't have the name of this line but because the same Kraken from iPhone 12 is the same for iPhone 13, so we can say it's the same thing. But see this one. This is an iPhone 13, and see, before these lines come to the charger IC, we have our RBP resistor with 10 ohms. So in this resistor, you have to have, you need to have 5 voltage right here and 5 voltage right here because this five voltage come from the charger i see and it's going to the usb i see okay because remember your five voltage had to validate okay this is the first one the second and the third step of charging processor okay for each model we connect our cable iphone the ones come with the three step this five voltage go directly to the USB IC to the Trista. iPhone, the ones come with the Hydra or Kraken, we connect the cable. This five voltage go to the charger IC, and then the charger IC is going to send the five voltage to the USB IC with the RBP line. And some models we have a resistor with 10 ohms. iPhone 8 iPhone X, iPhone 13 series, and iPhone 14 series. That's it. Okay? The fourth step. I'm going to give you five steps. Okay? Fourth step. The fourth step, we are going to call this step valid, valid cable. Okay? Now, because the USB controller had the... Um, the, the five voltage, the one come from the cable. So the USB IC need to have this communication with the PMU, with the CPU and say, okay, I have this cable and blah, 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 blah. This cable meet the requirements to charge. 
and they are going to say, oh, see, yes, we can charge now. Okay, so now the function or the mission of the USB IC is to send one signal to the charging IC saying, okay, papito, we can charge. Okay, so we have two components right here. We have USB IC and we have charger IC. Okay, we need one signal. One signal, oops, sorry. One signal, the ones come from the USB IC to the charger IC. We always are going to have a test point right here. Okay, okay, so listen. I'm going to start with iPhone 6, okay? iPhone 6 is the same name of the line. iPhone 6, we have the Trista, and we have to search always for this line. Power, gate, enable. D6, okay? The D6, power, gate, enable, okay? See, we are going to have a test point where this one okay this one see we have one test point right here i'm going to bring you to iphone 7 iphone 7 i'm going to check the power gate enable i'm going to do the click right here and we have a test point right here we can't see it right in this uh hot acid iphone 8 okay iphone 8 i'm going to have the hydrant right here and i'm going to search for the same line Power gate enabled, okay? And this is the Hydra to Tigris Vevus 1 valid, okay? See the name of this line. This line is saying Hydra USB IC to Tigris Charger IC. Hydra to Charger IC Vevus 1. Remember, Vevus 1 is our cable. Vevus 1 valid, okay? So it's saying I validate this cable okay if we click this one we are going to have a test point right here iphone x for example i like to do this test point because i know this test point is this one see hydra to tigris bebus valid we can just uh test this line without separating with i take apart the board so we can just check this test point before we do everything on iphone x iPhone X, we have this one right here. Okay, we have this one. See, power gate enable. I'm going to the click, and we have a test point right here. iPhone 11, right here is the Hydra. I'm going to click it. Now I'm going to search for the same line. Power gate enable, right there. And we are going to have one test point right here. iPhone 12, 12 Pro Max. Okay, 12 Pro Max, we have the uh, Kraken right here. And see the line? Power gate enabled, H3, remember this name. And we can give a uh, click and we are going to have a test point right here. And iPhone 13, H3, remember, H3, H3. This one is the same one, see? This one have a test point and come this line directly to the charger IC okay if we check we check all the models okay from iPhone 6 to iPhone 13 Pro and all these models have this line power gate enable V was one valid okay valid just because I don't have my oscilloscope right now, I can uh, check this line with the oscilloscope, okay? But with the oscilloscope, we are going to have a signal something like this, okay? Something like this, okay? We are going to have 0 and 1, and then 0. And this signal is going to come directly to around 5 voltage or 4 voltage, something like that. And then it's going to zero. I like to use oscilloscope sometimes. Sometimes I just use my multimeter. 
So I checked with my oscilloscope and this test point and I had to have a signal something like this. This one is saying me the USB IC is good. It's okay. This is sending the signal to charge. Okay. This is just sending this signal and saying we can charge. Edgar, but I don't have oscilloscope. Okay. So just with your multimeter, put your multimeter on voltage and check this line. If the USB IC is good, we have to have four voltage because this one is really fast that our multimeter can't ha can have zero five voltage and then zero. We only are going to see five zero voltage. And if the USB IC is bad, we are going to have around 3.7 for voltage or fan voltage. This one is bad. The USB IC is done sending the signal to start the charging. So this is a very good step because I always I, I always do a step by step. Don't rush and just try to do the first step and the first time. Okay, no. Always do a step by step because sometimes you you can't have this signal if you don't have the 5 voltage on the USB IC. That's because it's a step by step. So right now, I'm just saying you have, if you have zero voltage, the USB IC is good. If you have some voltage there, the USB is bad. Okay, that's it. This is the signal that the charger IC was waiting for to start charging. Because remember, when we connect the, when we connect the, the cable, the charger already have the five voltage. So he's ready to charge but when someone say we can charge so the charger IC is going to have is going to bring this 5 voltage and make a buck okay converter to start charging and this is our 5 step come on. 5 step is a start charging the battery okay and to start charging the battery we need a few steps okay this is a little bit complicated and for me to explain this in english is a little bit more okay i'm going to try to do my best okay i'm going to give you three places that you can check with your multimeter okay okay we are going to call this one buck for charge okay so the five step is remember the charger i see had to start charging your battery okay so i'm going to bring all down to iphone 6 because if we understand iphone 6 we are going to understand everything okay my friends okay so now we have this one right here this is the charger ic tigris okay remember we have vivas 5 voltage right here but the battery don't charge with 5 voltage okay the battery charge with for 3.7 or 4 voltage around something like that okay so we're going to have 5 voltage right here this 5 voltage is the one that is going to uh, do the buck converter and start charging your battery okay so i'm not going to explain you this uh, transistor right now because we already have around like an hour okay so it's a little bit boring so i'm just going to explain you where you had to check okay because we have a capacitor right here this is a boot charging a boost trapping uh, component so it's a little bit complicated to explain and for me to do it in english is a little bit more and we have a coil right here so to have a to have a buck converter right here we need a controller inside to these circuits okay so we had to this bug had to convert the 5 voltage to this line 3.7 to start charging the battery okay so we are going to check the first thing is remember the coils the coils is a component that is so complicated to check without um oscilloscope we can't check your um your 
a call without oscilloscope. You need an oscilloscope to check if the if a, the coil is doing the works. I'm going to do you another video and the next time, okay? Because we can have a voltage, we can have a continuity, we can have a dial, we can have a good uh, resisting in ohms, but the coils can be bad, okay? Because the coil, remember, is a um, wire around a nucleus, okay? So it's a little bit complicated to explain this. The first thing that you have to check if you have is this capacitor, okay? This capacitor, you are going to check this capacitor and dial mode. You don't have to have the same value in this path and this path because if you have the same value, you can have maybe a bad capacitor, okay? The second thing that you have to check if you uh, don't have oscilloscope if in this part of the capacitor you are going to have right here for voltage and then in this side you have to have 9 voltage okay this is complicated to explain okay but you have to have four voltage from the the ones come from the circuits okay the ones come from the circuits right here and the another ones, this one is the one is connected to the coil, okay? So you have to have five, four voltage there. And the one say charge boot, you have to have nine voltage, okay? I'm going to explain this one maybe later, okay? If you don't have this one, you can have, listen, you can have a coil bar, you can have a circuits bar, or you can have a capacitor bar. You always have to have four voltage right here and nine voltage right here when you have four voltage here that's because the back converter is doing the work good so this four voltage is going to come inside and it's going to charge the battery okay and the same time is going to give you the power to have your phone on this is complicated i know but just check for the capacitor, 4 voltage and 9 voltage. I'm going to I'm going to come to iPhone X. Okay, iPhone X. I have the charger IC right here. And you will see we have the same thing right here. We have a capacitor. We have a coil. Right now we have two coils. So we have to have 4 voltage right here, 9 voltage right here. If you don't have this one, you can have a coil, but a capacitor bar or a circuit bar because if you don't have oscilloscope to check you can't uh, tell which one is bad or which one is good okay i always check for the circuits the the call is it's a little bit hard to be bad and the capacitor is always the uh, circuits okay i'm going to bring you to iphone 11 iPhone 11, this is the charging IC, okay? And if you see, we have the same thing right here. But listen, we have two capacitor because we have right now fast charging, okay? So you have to have four voltage, four voltage, nine voltage, and nine voltage. But remember, if you are not connecting a fast charging plug, you only going to have one coil working so you don't going to have this one okay that's only when you connect a plug with a fast charging okay so i always just check this one with a normal cable four voltage right here nine voltage right there i'm going to pro max pro max i'm going to come to the charging IC. And right now we have the same thing, see? We have a capacitors, we have coils, we have to have four voltage here and nine voltage right. If you don't have this four voltage, you can have a coil, but a capacitors, and like I always say, it's always sometimes the circuits, okay? So this is the charging circuit. If you have the four voltage or 3.7 voltage, the, the in the line the the ones connect the battery you have a phone that is charging okay so only in five step 
Maybe the last step is a little bit complicated for me to explain to you in English, but just check for the capacitor. We, this is the five step that I always teach to my students in all my courses uh, with more, a uh, little bit more theory. But I always say, if you follow a step by step, you always going to uh, fix a phone with no charging. But you have to understand uh, things, for example, uh, how to use your multimeter, how to uh, the current works, how to know if where is a leak or where is a short circuit or things like that. So just let me know in the comments if this one helped you a lot or if you need more classes like this or if you need more classes to how to use, for example, a multimeter or how to find shorts how to ha find leaks and lanes because sometimes i don't know you guys uh, which level you guys are right so sometimes i can explain something really advanced but i have to start teaching you from this don't forget to leave your comment and please share this video i need a thousand subscribers okay see you in the next video bye adios